Hello, my name is Acorn, and today we're making a floating island crop farm. This build is perfect for any basis near a body of water and features four main crops, though you can fit as many as you'd like. These are the materials you'll need. The only thing not listed are the seeds you'll plant. Once you've picked your spot, start with a 12 by 13 square. Make sure to leave some room on the sides and build the first platform at water level. Next, raise the platform by one block. Leaving a four block gap on the right, create another square that is eight blocks by eight blocks and fill it in. Right now the island kind of looks like a mud cake, so let's add a border to make it look more natural. Also, if you want to decorate the border with sand the way I did later, go ahead and add another layer of dirt under the island now. Time for the second island. Leave one block of water between the two and an overlap of three blocks. Extend the top side to 10 blocks. The rest of the island is going to be an organic shape, so just follow what I do on the screen. After that, fill it in. One last detail on the top, and then we can move on to the third island. This next one's going to be a little different. Leave two blocks of water between the first and third island. And create a seven by seven square. For this tutorial, I'm going to turn the third island into a sugarcane field, which means it's going to have a pretty funky shape. Just like with the last island, follow what I do on the screen. Because sugarcane needs to be touching water in order to grow, this island is going to have weird little arms that extend out. We also have to add water sources in a special pattern across the island. Fill those in with a water bucket, and then we get to start decorating. Starting with spruce trapdoors, create platforms on either side of a bridge. Connect them with slabs, and add fences to either side. Repeat this design to connect the first and second island. Using mud stairs, create a pathway up each level.
Then line the sides with more trapdoors. You'll need to add water sources for the crops. Decide if you want to decorate with composters or wood logs with lanterns. Next, till the field with a hoe, but exclude the blocks in front of your stairs and your trap doors. Replace these blocks with coarse dirt so you don't accidentally trample your crops. Continue adding water sources and tilling the dirt until the lower level is complete. Then move to the upper level and repeat the process. Depending on how the islands connect to the land in your world, you'll have to decide where else to add stairs and whether or not you'll need additional water sources. But there are some easy ways you can hide them in the walls. Once that's done, move on to the second island and add your water sources there. Also, till the dirt, making sure to leave a border around the outer edge. To prevent yourself from falling into the water sources on the sugarcane island and to add some ambient light, I like to add trapdoors and torches like this. When you plant your sugarcane, there should only be one or two blocks that stay empty. I personally like having a little storage and crafting area in between the islands for easy access. So if you'd like to do the same, connect the islands like this. And at this point, go ahead and plant your crops so they can start growing. I like to plant potatoes for baked potatoes, carrots for golden carrots, wheat for villager breeding, and sugarcane for paper and rockets, but feel free to plant whatever you'd like. What really pulls this build together is texturing the borders with different blocks like sand, gravel, coarse dirt, and grass blocks. except you might need to do some patchwork here and there.
Don't forget your barrels, crafting table, and some fence decorations. I also love using bone meal to create grass and flowers to add a little more detail. But that's it, you're done. It's time to enjoy your new crop farm. I hope you enjoyed this video. I also have some fun ideas for future builds and videos, so be sure to leave a like on this one and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.